First of all, I would like to thank you for inviting me to present the Moroccan experience in regulating and uh, consolidating the freedom of expression in Morocco. I think uh, three main driving forces are shaping the relationship between government and communication. The first force is the digital revolution. The measure between traditional ways of broadcasting with the new ways of broadcasting via internet. The second force is the democratic uh, transition, political, uh, economic reforms, what's going on in, in Morocco and which they shape the relationship between citizens, political parties, civil society, political system, parliament, government. And the third is the demographic transition, the, the youth movement. And as you know, since 2011, with the Arab Democratic Spring, the youth movement uh, became an important element, actor in shaping and uh, what we can call shaping and reshaping the relationship between political participation and uh, all uh, uh, groups within the, the society. So, these three main forces are shaping the relationship between government and communication. What's the answers to this to the challenges that emerged from these three forces? In the Moroccan experience, we developed uh, a policy based on reforming the regulation system, deep and genuine reforms that strengthen the independency of the regulations system and at the same time investing in self-regulation within journalists, within newspapers, ethics committees within public television, and enhancing the role of the high authority of audiovisual communication in the country. This policy is based on the first generation of reforms that has been implemented since 2002 under the leadership of His Majesty Mohammed, the King Mohammed VI. And this reforms leads Morocco to, to have for the first time a system that allowed private television, private radio to emerge and we have now in Morocco at least more than 16 private radio and one private television in parallel to the public television and public radios. Besides this, we have an emerging sector of printed press independent, at least more than uh, 400 uh, newspapers now in Morocco. But the most important thing is the online media as an emerging action in securing the right of citizens to access to information, to oversight the work of the government by having the right information. So, this first generation of reform leads also to the establishment and the creation of the high authority of audiovisual communication to regulate. And, and the most important role, the most important role of the of this authority is to preserve cultural diversity and political pluralism. With the digital revolution and the demographic transition and the spread of democracy, we started the second generation of reform based on the new constitution 
that has been adopted in 2011. The main goals of the of the second generation of reform is the first is to to reform the legal framework of the media sector and mainly to have and to draft now we drop we succeed in drafting a new press code to decriminalize defamation to recognize the role of the online media but the most important thing is the creation of an elected press national council to promote ethics and to defend the freedom of expression. And by invest, investing in self-regulation, we are dealing with the challenges of the new technologies and the digital revolution. This is a new era. And the only way to deal with the challenges is to invest in self-regulation. So, the first thing in the second generation of reform is drafting a new press code based in this article, decriminalizing of defamation and the recognition of the online media and having an elected national press council to be elected by journalists and editors to regulate the, the press sector. Secondly, is to, is to consolidate and to strengthen the powers of the high authority of audiovisual communication. To secure the independency of the public television, to secure that this public television will provide real public service, and at the same time, to preserve competition and creation, freedom of creation within public service, but also in the private sector of the media. The third thing or third measure in the second gener generation of reform is investing in digital infrastructure. In Morocco, we have the internet penetration is about 70%. And within a population of 34 million, we have at least uh, more than 7 million of Facebook's page. And the role of the online media is so crucial in, in shaping attitudes and uh, building uh, public opinions towards specific issues. So, now we are working to, to draft the second national digital plan for Morocco 2020, after the success of the first strategy of 2013. Having the second strategy is by investing in the infrastructure of the internet. And this will allow people in the Moroccan society to follow all measures related to the second generation of reforms in the press, media, in the broadcasting era, and uh, also in the online media. So, what's the the challenges of the future. I think the first challenge is the, this issue of the convergence between traditional media and new media. And this has huge impact on the on consumers, on the protections of minors, protections of minorities, protections of even uh, the groups who are so marginalized. The problem of preserving the cultural diversity 
in Morocco in 2002-2002, we started a national policy to recognize the cultural diversity in, in, in Morocco. We have the Arabic language, Amazigh language, and the new constitution emphasized this. So preserving the cultural diversity within the society. And also promoting multiple pluralism also is one of the challenges. Right of all political groups to have access to public media, to the media. And finally, the issue of uh, intellectual property. Intellectual property with private, respecting the private life. This is one of the critical issues that has a huge impact on the freedom of creation. Without respecting the intellectual property, it's so difficult to promote creations within the societies. So these are the main elements of the second generation of the forms that we are working to implement it in, in Morocco based on the first generation of reforms. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, still, I would like to ask 